It looked a and little you, bit cold. And you could see the snow on the ground still in the mm -hmm. Madison area. There's sure. been much more snow over southern Wisconsin than we've had here in the central and northern part of the state. And if you're thinking, oh, I'll just go to southern Wisconsin, it's much warmer. No, it's not, yeah. as we've obviously seen in that report. And even right now, the temperature reading in Madison is below freezing at 27 degrees. Not that much warmer than the 24 here in Wausau. Winds have been from the south today. That will actually keep temperature readings fairly steady the rest of the evening and tonight. That's some good news for us. In fact, you notice it's into the low 30s just to the west of Wisconsin. So there's the trend for some milder weather conditions later tonight and tomorrow, a one day trend. But the south winds are also strong enough to generate wind chill values down into the teens. So temperature readings will be in the 20s this evening, but wind chills will be in the teens. So obviously, dress warmly if you'll be heading out the door for any outdoor activities the next several hours. Not much falling from the cloud cover that we have overhead now, but we're tracking an area of light snow over southern Canada and northern Minnesota moving to the southeast. That will affect areas to the north of Wausau later this evening and tonight where an inch or less of snow accumulation could occur. As this wave moves through, we could have some flurries tonight south of Wausau, but again, not a lot of snow, maybe a few slippery spots, especially farther north. Forecast lows tonight, not too bad in the range of 20 to 25 degrees in our area, much better than last night with south to southwest winds continuing at around 10 miles per hour. That will keep the wind chills though down in the teens. Well, this is Winter Weather Awareness Week in Wisconsin. The Wisconsin Department of Transportation provides many ways for you to keep updated on road conditions in the state. You can uh, go to the 511 Wisconsin mobile app that they provide or Twitter at 511WI or you can go to the website www.511wi.gov. Updated road conditions are always there. You can also call 511 from any phone to see how the roads are doing. Lows today in our area down into the single digits for the most part. It was 10 in Wausau but 2 below in Stevens Point, 8 below in Black River Falls. We recovered to highs in the 20s, but the high of 24 in Wausau was still 20 degrees cooler than the 44 degree average we expect, or we would hope to have, for the 8th of November. High temperature tracker shows a little bit of marginal relief tomorrow. We'll crack back above freezing for most of the area, up to 36 in Wausau, then trend colder on Sunday early next week. Very cold for this time of year. Highs around 20 degrees with some wind too. Then we'll trend a little bit warmer later next week. Your weekend highlights will show a milder day tomorrow as we've seen a chance of a few flurries and sprinkles. Light snow tomorrow night as a cold front pushes in. Maybe a round of an inch of accumulation possible. So not a lot, but again, some slippery spots will be possible. Sunday will turn breezy and colder with flurries possible and lake effect snow showers far north. That's where we expect some snow the next several days in northern Wisconsin. Our forecast tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., 23 to 28 degrees, not too bad out. We'll have a chance of a few flurries and sprinkles tomorrow afternoon and the evening. Highs a little bit warmer, low to mid-30s north of Wausau, a little bit warmer than that to the south, west wind at 5 to 10. Quickly, our seven-day forecast then, we'll have a breezy and colder condition Sunday. Lake affects snow Monday as it will be very cold in the area, then trending a little bit warmer thereafter.